So I received a ton of feedback about wanting me to share my pitch deck. This is an informational piece all about your game, who your target audience is, some information about your game that publishers can quickly glance through and get a feel for what kind of gameplay you're bringing, what sets it apart from other games in the industry that they could publish. Ideally, less is more. So you don't want a ton of slides or information on this. You just want enough that they can glance through six, seven slides and get that feel for your game and have some conversation topics to talk about later. So that being said, let's just go ahead and jump in and I'll share my pitch deck now. Welcome to Spookville. Located in an isolated cabin in the woods, players will step into the shoes of a courageous young boy determined to save his parents from the clutches of an evil scarecrow. So this first slide is just kind of a, an introduction to what your game is. Just an overview of who the main character is, what the storyline is, and any quick information about the type of gameplay your game has. So because I'm relying very heavily on the graphical style, I wanted to make sure I hit in the second paragraph that our hand-drawn textures and ambient sound effects create a unique atmosphere that hasn't been seen before in games. The second slide's a little bit more information, ideally in a bulleted point list of what is your game about. So Spookville is a cute horror genre. We've seen horror games that are, are absurdly gory and graphic, but what about cute horror? Something that still can startle you and give you a sense of dread, but makes it fun and enjoyable by all types of players. It is also a third person shooter, so this is me getting into what kind of gameplay it is. That's quick, it's got combat, both range and melee, and players will be accustomed to it if they've ever played Fortnite. And it's an indie game, made in the USA by yours truly. Okay, and here's that elevator pitch. Cabin Escape is a game that combines the artistic style of Tim Burton with a gameplay similar to Fortnite. The player will be a young boy armed with the toys we grew up with, Nerf guns, wooden swords, water balloon bazookas, and fight an evil scarecrow to get all of his parents back in a remote cabin in the woods. That's about all the time you've got to really pitch a game to a publisher when, when you're caught in that elevator scenario. The next slide's all about the gameplay and mechanics. So I wanted to talk about the third person shooter again with explaining the controller layer layout and how it's similar to Fortnite and other third person shooters in the, in the genre. But I also wanted to talk about how the player can switch to melee combat against various enemy types up to and including the boss at the end of the game. And then something that also sets it apart is the ally system that will allow the player to recruit a friendly unit to follow the player through some parts of the game. This ally will help the player in multiple ways, such as dropping ammunition, health packs, and engage the players in some friendly conversation. It has yet to be seen if the allies will actually participate in any combat or just offer a support role. Okay, once again, I wanted to hit on the art style. The art style of Spookville is a cartoony aesthetic with some realistic environmental art. Fortnite was a big influence and the design of the characters and weapons, Tim Burton films and their antagonists drove the design of the setting and atmosphere. And here's some quick information about us developers. Meet Chad, sole proprietor of Indiescape Games. So I have released two previous games to the Google Play Store, two uh, mobile games. I have an active YouTube channel, which is where you're probably seeing this now. I participate in game jams to keep my skills sharp, and I enjoy mentoring junior developers and growing their careers. This could be programming, game development, or anything else, even career development. I just really enjoy sharing what I've learned with you guys. Okay, and this last slide is all about the milestones and delivery dates for your project. So mine has changed a little bit in the past couple of weeks from my transition from Unity to Unreal Engine. So my June 2024 release date is probably unlikely, as well my theme page and demo will be pushed out a few months. But this is a, a good place to show kind of where your, your milestones will be. When will your website be published? When will your Steam page be announced? When will you have a demo? When will the actual game be released? So these can be just short descriptive points on a timeline like this, and then you can extrapolate more later in a follow-up slide or in conversation. The follow-up conversation is probably the most important part about pitching your game. So that was the pitch deck for Spookville Cabin Escape, my third commercial project. If this has been helpful at all, or if you'd like a copy of this pitch deck, please comment below. Give me a like and subscribe if this was helpful at all, and I'll see you in the next one.